Just want to show you though how I'm rigging this up since I did cut it. I have uh, I actually have a few different hooks on on some of these rigs, but this is a size one octopus circle hook. Somebody turned uh, me on to these a few years ago, and I've just used them, and they work great. So I'm gonna tie. I grew up knowing it as a Gary Roach knot because Gary Roach, if you know, if you're a Minnesota guy, hey, this Gary Roach for angling buzz. He taught a seminar when I was in high school at an L and M in Grand Rapids, Minnesota. And this is one of the things he taught was this is, was his favorite knot. So I grew up using this knot. Same kind of knot you would use for a uh, drop shot probably, otherwise known as a polymer knot. So basically you tie your knot, but you can have a long tag in like this. You're not gonna need all that. We're fishing with like eight to 10 inch smelt. So I want maybe maybe six inches between, six inches between the hooks. But in between the hooks, a lot of times I'll drop one of the, any kind of hook, any kind of weight. This just happens to be what I have. Gets a smelt down there. You don't have to wait for an hour and a half. So that's gonna be what this looks like. Front and back of the smelt is gonna be hooked onto there. And the weight's gonna get you down. So here's how I set up my, my dead bait. I have a an eight inch, eight, nine inch smelt here. There it is. And a, a lake trout's gonna pick this up off the bottom, ah, like that. And so you want this hook to be facing away from the, the bait's head so that when the fish inhales, you set the hook pulling it this way and the hook goes right into the top of his mouth, hopefully. I also have a weight on here. I'll show you what I do with that. Before I put this back hook on, I just cut a little little slit in the belly with the hook like that. I'll show you why. And I take this weight that's attached in between and I stick the weight, I stick the weight in the belly. Now, this smelt is not a tournament smelt, so. We got weights and fish! There we go! Oh, you can do that. So that's what it looks like. Something like that. It's with a softer flesh, like this frozen smelt, it's not gonna be as um, pretty as it would if with a, a fresh caught trout or... Some people use pike minnow or sucker pieces cut. I, I prefer a whole fish. I think you can definitely catch them. We've definitely caught them on sucker belly or... My preference. You can use whatever you want. I'm gonna let that thing go all the way to the bottom. There it is. All the way to the bottom. Okay, here's what I'm using. Finicky Fuller. I bought these because I was looking for a fun way to fish tip-ups. I love fishing tip-ups. It's kind of like bobber fishing, you know, when the bobber goes down, it's so pretty exciting. But it's also probably the best way a lot of times to fish lake trout uh, in the winter. So, and I'd rather use a rod and reel than uh, than hand over hand. So you fish with the bail open. Here's the flag goes onto the trigger arm right here, like that. You take this line, put it around that little stopper. As you can see here, when that fish starts pulling line this way, that'll trigger that. That arm will go that way and the flag will pop up and I'll come running and get all wet. Guys, I'm just getting the fish out set up. I got so much slush. We got our first flag of the day. to get out here. Finicky Fuller set up a big old piece of smelt on the bottom. This will be a great first fish, guys. 65 feet of water. Oh man, look at that rod fin. Can't budge him. No way. No way we get a monster. The first fish, just a few minutes after we get set up. Look at that rod. Oh, yeah. Right away. Okay, got to my mono, my fluorocarbon leader. Some big head thumps. Oh my gosh. Come here. Get your head in the hole. This 
thing is so freaking huge. Get your head up this hole. Get your head up this hole, girl. Come on. Just start coming up the hole, and then I can reach for it. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Oh. Yeah! Oh my goodness! Oh my gosh! By the girth on this fish is why it is so hard to lift it up to get you a picture. Look at that giant, giant Idaho lake trout.